It's the Greece. It seems to be the noisy guys in sports who get most of the media attention. Well, Pete Axtell now with a story about one of the quiet guys who gets the job done. Mark Gastineau, the media's defensive end, had a wonderful game last Sunday. The Jets' high-profile hero was in the Baltimore backfield all day. And each time he got a sack, he went into his familiar dance. Every time I looked up, Gastineau seemed to be dancing. The problem was when I looked further up at the scoreboard. Did anybody tell Mark that amid his individual celebrations, his team was losing and plunging into last place? It is tempting to take off on Gastineau's selfish act as a symbol of the Jets' futility this year. But it happens that last week's games held a more positive lesson. While Gastineau was leaping, the best defensive end in the NFL was playing much closer to the ground. In fact, Doug Betters of Miami twice scrambled across the San Francisco turf to recover fumbles that stopped 49er drives. Of course, Betters didn't dance. He would have been quick to emphasize the teammates who had caused the fumbles. In fact, when I chatted with him recently, Doug also deflected praise for his glorious sack total this season. He pointed out that he's been lucky to draw several blockers who were injured or inexperienced. Ever hear Gastineau say something like that? No, Betters represents the best of the Shula system, the team concept, the quiet pursuit of serious goals. But it occurs to me that he stands for even more. Essayist Joan Didion once sought a definition of self-respect. People with self-respect, she wrote, exhibit a certain toughness, a kind of moral nerve. They display what was once called character, a quality which, although approved in the abstract, sometimes loses ground to other, more instantly negotiable virtues. The Gastineau commercials are indeed negotiable in quick coin. The virtues of a betters are more like certain precious metals, hard, unyielding, and destined to be valued for a very long time. And whichever your taste in uh, defensive ends, both should have a good day today. They both go against uh, second string linemen. Should be a lot of fireworks. Man. Okay. Thank you, Pete Axnell. And that'll do it for NFL 83. We'll be here throughout the day with scores, highlights, updates. Clark Gaines will join us at halftime. I'm Len Berman. Enjoy the game, everybody.